welcome to West Anime Sims. My name is Kelvin and how are you doing? In this speed build, we are coming back around the world with The Sims 2. This time we are going to Korea. We are building a Korean Hanok. So a Korean Hanok or Hanok is actually Korean for a Korean house. It's a traditional Korean style house. So this house will be a little bit more of a modern update with modern appliances here and there for a suburban house for four sims. So I'm going to explain the concept and the design and a little bit of a Korean history background of the architecture style. First up some news about West Enemy Sims. We have officially crossed 500 subscribers as of last year. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting this channel. I really, really thank you for the bottom of my heart that people actually care about older Sims games, especially The Sims 2, and also Sims not forgetting Sims 1 and 3. As of time of recording, this channel has 527 subscribers. So if you are watching this video and you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe and get updates on retro sims content. So back to explaining the build, this Korean style house, I google searched it and surprisingly it does have similarities of Chinese and Japanese style houses but they do have some distinctive characteristics, mainly, mainly the curved roofs are a little bit different between Japanese and Chinese style houses. Uh, they are curved at the bottom but a little bit more straighter at the top and they use mainly gabled roofs. Sometimes they use hip roof as well. And as usual, building in the Sims roofing is such a challenge. What you don't see that I cut out is the numerous changes and adjustments I did on the roofs to make it look seamless and doesn't look like it's patch and avoid some clipping issues here and there. I also considered to put a second story up on the front of the house to make it having a more dynamic shape but I later on go against my that idea because it's going to cost a little bit more money and it doesn't look that great anyway. So most of the time the house will be on a stone foundation as I will see here I've built a foundation for the layout and I'm going to paint it in a stone texture later on as the foundation uh, use of sliding doors and very heavily geometric have windows have that have many panels such as this one most suitable and also the choice of wood for Korean style houses they mainly use more medium to light wood colors. As for Japanese and Chinese style, they are more leaning towards darker wood. And also the thankfully the roof texture, we have this tile that are leaning to more towards greys and dark blues. That's what I noticed so far in the pictures I saw. Instead of using red or green. Chinese builds or just dark brown and black or wooden ones in Japanese styles. So yeah, there's a slight differentiation of architectural styles. So may, most people who are not familiar with Asian style architecture will just um different cultures into one big sub group. So yes, if you notice more closely, there are distinctive differences between East Asian uh, architectural style. So this house will have a U-shaped layout with a kids room at one end and the other end will be the master parents bedrooms and there's a, there's a bathroom attached to it at the end, living room and one side and the other side will be the dining and the kitchen area and the choice of wall textures we're definitely using this plain white paint with wooden panelling at the sides and then I vary it up with different patterns, different styles of the wood panelling so it gives a little bit of an interesting motif towards it. The colours for the 
bedrooms I lean towards pastel blue colors so to give a more soft minimalistic look for kids I give a little bit of a fun brighter tone is uh, compared to the parents master bedroom and flooring is made mainly wood and bamboo tiles as for bathrooms will be in stone tile with wooden paneling that will look give like more of a zen look now as i mentioned this one won't be a very traditional house you may have a sims modern take to it because for example more for traditional korean households or more mainly a lot of uh, asian households in general they don't sit on dining chairs and tables to eat they usually sit on the floor with a low table to serve out food and they just sit on the floor and gather around to eat over there but in the sims they don't do that uh, secondly even the desks are not supposed to be on a regular chair height i've seen in some korean tv shows they have a coffee table height desk they can just sit on the floor and do their homework that's pretty interesting not found in uh, western style furnishing of course sims is very americanized so things have to be a little bit more adaptive to make this house functional and yes i forgot to mention the entryway after the main entrance i put a small section where sims can hang their coats this is usually very common in uh, actually a lot of uh, East Asian houses that have actually have a section that where people take off their shoes and wear their house slippers or go literally barefoot. Yes, a lot of Asian households, not only just East Asia and also Southeast Asia as well, we don't usually wear shoes at home. So the idea of just walk into your house without taking off your shoes is very foreign to me only in the sims 4 they actually adapt that idea of taking off their shoes in snowy escape expansion pack but the main gripe i got is that even they don't animate the shoes being taken off or they don't do the classic sims spin around and change their clothes you can actually spin to change their I don't know, it's just a puff of smoke and then their shoes are taken off. That's really lazy in terms of animation uh, point of view. Actually, I've been wanting to build this house quite a long time ago, but I'm really worried that it will look very similar to Japanese house, uh, spa that I did last time. And indeed, a lot of elements are common in building this house and also it does remind a little bit oddly like with the indian bungalow because the layout is also the u-shaped one and there is also a courtyard at the back of the house later on i'll explain how different it is in terms of the landscaping as we move on to landscaping later on in this speed build as for furnishing i actually lean in towards more light wood this time because I just noticed in East Asian uh, households, mainly Japanese and Korean households, they actually prefer more muted and light colors compared to a lot of other places. This is just a generalization. I don't think everybody is like that. This is very common in most houses compared to, let's say, Southeast Asian styles or South Asian styles. They are more richly colored and heavily textured and prefer more darker colors. Of course, these, gener these are generalizations across cultures that are always exceptions to the norm. And the decorations I really want to include in this build is the Konmungo that is actually included in the sims 2 base game i'm pretty surprised that actually they actually have that in the base game they have different cultures included in it without really 
showing it off. That's pretty nice, but definitely not enough to build the whole house out of it. Definitely need to borrow some elements here and there for, for different Asian cultures. That's kind of a given in The Sims 2. Also, I cut out one portion of the speed build, which is I made a structural change, making the master bedroom a bit more forward and make it the whole house a little bit more shorter. Uh, this is a thing in The Sims 2 because I, after I de decorate the whole house, finish the whole, after I finish, after I finish furnishing the whole house, the basic, I realized actually I don't need that much space <laughs> in my house, so I have to make structural changes to it. So push the bedroom and the bathroom a little bit more closer. The kitchen doesn't need to be so big, but I shrunk it a little bit more. So to have a more cozy looking house instead of just wide open space with nothing much going on. And then I don't feel like and after I made the changes, I don't feel like I want to adjust the roof again. So I made a deck extended to the back of the bathroom. And it turned out pretty decent because it gives a little bit more interesting shape rather than just a full balance and everything had to be on the same size in each side. So a little bit of asymmetry is fine as long as you know how to play it well. Speaking of Korean culture, you cannot escape talking about K-pop. Now, I just noticed that only in the last few years, K-pop has been exploded in the Western world. But K-pop in Asia, especially in Malaysia or many parts of Asia, K-pop has been around for years and we kind of got used to it. You can see TV shows and radios playing K-pop hits for almost more than almost 20 years by now. I think before Psy, the Gangnam Style exploded in all over the world, we already have been exposed to Korean music like at least 5 to 10 years. I think it's around middle of 2000s. And size, uh, size Gangnam Style is only released in 2012. But that was more than 10 years ago, man. Wow, the influence of Korean pop culture has been quite a long time standing and it does include people's fashion, people's choice of watching TV shows. Even now, people stream shows from Korea even though they don't know the language. They just watch it because the stories are interesting. They are very different from what we are used to in uh, the US and U British TV. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to know that what is the most influential thing anything that you know about korean culture in especially korean pop culture please let me know in the comments i myself not really a big fan of uh, k-pop culture but i know a few things that are very popular here and there i watched some of the uh, music videos from uh, big bang and uh, BTS and all the other very big names celebrities of K-pop that are really really they are really really eye-catching and also really really catch has very catchy music that suit so you can just bob to it whenever you, you turn on the radio so yeah in this build also we I also included a lot of posters to simulate that teen culture 
towards celebrities are uh, really prominent in uh, Korea as well. So that's kind of a little Easter egg I put into this build. So this video will be the first video of 2023. So how was 2022 for you and how did you celebrate the new year? So leave me down in the comments. So 2022, it was a roller coaster ride with filled with ups and downs, especially with this channel. There's some parts that I have very little support, that have the growth is plateauing, so I'm really anxious, I don't know what to do. At some point, there are videos that suddenly get a lot of views all of a sudden, but the algorithm just checks on me. I don't know what works, I wonder what doesn't. But in any case, uh, moving forward, I'm going to keep up the momentum for 2023 with more speed builds, definitely for twi twice a month, which is once every two weeks. And also keeping up with the retro review with rating Sims 2 Neighborhoods. Apparently, Pleasant View is pretty strong views, but if you haven't watched it, please, please go and watch it. In my channel and also I have some custom content review I haven't touched it yet it's been I've been putting off for quite some time and also going to include some of the sims 3 to sims 2 stuff pack that are custom content conversions definitely going to check that out and that's pretty much it for 2023 do leave me a comment more things you want to see in this channel i'm always welcome for suggestions also i'm also open to suggestions of what kind of builds you want to see in this channel any culture builds that i haven't touched upon yet please give me a suggestion and give me some references for me to check it out i'm being really interested to see whether i can do it in the sims 2 especially the if I can stretch the Sims 2 building tools to the limit. As for landscaping, it's pretty tough because landscaping is not really my strength in terms of building. I'm really fine with decorating the most. Uh, architecture building is second. Landscaping is pretty tough one for me. It always is, but I'm learning to explore new styles and to get used to make it more natural, to have more, to arrange plants and terrain more naturally. So in this build, I just noticed the courtyard for most Hano is actually more stone and soil based. They are not really grassy at all. i not so sure why, maybe because they are leaning towards more practicality so that don't want their food to get really dirty with all the grass and the soil so it's mainly paved stone or tile courtyard so I included that in this build it took me a while for what pattern or really just have a flat textured stone tile to it the courtyard and then they really prefer potted plants of planted on the ground ones in the courtyard so I put some potted plants here and there across the veranda and also the near the steps and also carve out some flower beds later on to put some greenery towards it so yeah it's a little bit different from the Indian bungalow one which is really more leaning towards nature and this one is more than compared to other landscaping so i also put a concrete fence all around the house i think this is pretty common in most korean houses that have a stone wall surrounding it the house to to give some privacy in their household uh, in the house so at the same time i put some bonsai trees i'm not so sure bonsai trees are 
very common in uh, Korea, but definitely it's definitely an East Asian thing to have bonsai trees that made Japanese maple, regardless of where, which region you're from. <laughs> so yeah, so this is turning out to be pretty satisfying to me. Okay, we are reaching to the end of my speed build. What do you think about this Hanok? Please leave me a comment. And of course, after some little off-camera edits, this build can be up downloaded account down in the links description below. And also some screenshots I'm going to take will be uploaded in my socials, which is Instagram and Tumblr. Please give them a follow as well to keep up with the updates even if you're not on YouTube. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to West Anime Sims for more updates on Retro Sims content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye!